The previous video tutorials looked in depth at Perfected Style Sheet Editor, but now I want to show you an even easier way to edit Perfected Style Sheets. It's so simple that in many ways this could have been the first video tutorial. Once you have the basics of your style in place, the easiest way to make changes to your style is to use Perfected's customize menu in order to edit the style sheet as you work. To see it in action, start by selecting the style sheet that you want to use, then run Perfect It. When Perfect It shows a potential error, you can click the Customize menu to enforce your preference in future. It adds the preference that you choose to the active style. For example, on the test of hyphenation of words, this document has cooperation with and without a hyphen. Click the Customize menu and you can see that both options can be added to the style sheet. Let's choose to always prefer cooperation without a hyphen. We can actually see that has been added by going into the style sheet editor and choosing the test hyphenation of words. And now if we repeat that test, what we find is that instead of showing the inconsistency, Perfected now has a preferred style of cooperation without the hyphen. Moving along to the next test. What you can see here is that not all of Perfected's tests have an option to customize them. This is the test of wildcard find and replace, and it can only be edited in the style sheet editor. But that said, lots of the tests do have an option to use the customize menu. So let's jump ahead to the test of numbers in sentences. Here we can see that the numbers 1 to 10 appear both in numerals and spelled out in full. If we click the customize menu, we can see that these groups are available. The principle is the same as the test of hyphenation, but in this case, we can set a preference for groups of numbers as well as individual words. Let's jump ahead to the test of phrases in capitals. In this case, government appears with and without initial capitals, and the options in the customize menu are very similar to the test of hyphenation. Now, government with and without initial capitals is a really frequent error, so I don't think we'd want to turn that off. But for the sake of argument, we could stop Perfect It from checking that if we wanted to. To do that, we choose the option to never find government. By ruling out choices that you don't want Perfect It to look for in future, you can make its checking faster and more efficient. And you can see that this has been added to the current style by clicking the style sheet editor and then choosing the Never Find tab. Now if we rerun that test, we'll find that it won't find government this time and we'll skip straight to the next issue. And it's not just in this document, because we've added it to the style sheet, this will apply on all future documents when we use this style sheet. It's important to be careful if you choose never to find certain matches, since that could prevent you from seeing errors in future documents. However, this is a great way to build your style. In the same way that you might have improved the dictionary in your spell checker over time by adding words, adding just a few preferences to your style sheet each time you run Perfect It will quickly create a resource that makes all your checking faster and easier. And if you make a mistake with the customize menu, you can always edit it through the style sheet editor. In the next video, we look at how you can manage and share the styles that you create so that everyone in your organization can use Perfect It to enforce house style.